After seeing this equation, you might be wondering if we can just take 4 on the right-hand side to make it negative 4, and then simply take the fourth root on both sides. That way, this will get cancelled, and then we can add plus or minus here, and that's it. Right? Well, kind of. But there's a catch. It doesn't give us the full picture of the solution, because this equation involves complex numbers. When you take the fourth root of a negative number, you're stepping into the world of imaginary numbers, and there's more than one possible solution. In this case, there will be four possible values of x. We can write this x to the 4 as x square whole square, and then this 4 as 2 square. Now how can we factor the sum of two squares? I will make you visualize it using geometry. Make a square of length x square. So, its area will be the same as x square whole square. Now, make another square like this of length 2, such that its area will be 2 square. Now, if you look at this, can we make it into a big square? Yes, we can, by making this part and then this part. This will be 2, and this side is x square. So, this area is 2x square. Same goes for this part. This side is 2 and this side is x square. So this area will also be 2x square. So in this equation, we can add 2 plus 2 or 4x square. But we also have to subtract 4x square so that the original equation is not changed. Now what is this part? This bigger square will have the side length as x square plus 2. So this part will be the same as x square plus 2 whole square. And then we have this minus 4x square. If we have a square of side 2x, then its area will be 4x square. So this will be 2x whole square. Now, this seems familiar, right? It is of the form a square minus b square, which will be this. So this equation will be x square plus 2 plus 2, x times x square plus 2 minus 2x, and that is equal to 0. Now we just have to solve these quadratic equations. Let us solve it using completing the square method. Put this 2 on the right side to make it negative 2. Now write this 2x as x plus x. Ready for one more geometry? Make a square of side x. This area will be x square. Now make this rectangle of side 1 and x. Similarly, make this rectangle of side 1 and x, such that the sum of both these is 2x. Now, in order to make a bigger square, we just need to make this square of side length 1, such that its area is 1. So now add 1 on both sides of this equation. This bigger square will have side length of x plus 1, and thus this will be x plus 1 whole square. And this will be minus 1. Take square root on both sides and thus x plus 1 will be plus minus root of minus 1, or i, or x will be equal to minus 1 plus minus i. Awesome! Now, for this quadratic equation, I will leave it as an exercise for the viewers, and it will turn out to be 1 plus minus i. That's it! So good!